Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. Today we're going to be drawing a cute little seashell. And I have here a uh, watercolor, water, and some brushes, and a um, marker, and a piece of paper, and some paper towels. So we'll get started. So to draw the seashell, we're going to keep our page like this in a landscape mode. And I'm going to put two brushes together like this to sort of show you that we're going to fill up the page and we're going to draw the, the lines something like that. So you can either use a ruler or, you know, if you have some brushes, you can use those as well to outline it or you can hand draw it. So here we're going to start out by making a little dot in the middle of the paper at the bottom. And we're going to do a similar thing on the top towards the right, maybe about an inch or so. Um, and we're going to have a dome shape on the top. So uh, we're going to leave some space on the top. So that's a perfect size um, uh, for space. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side. And we're going to go ahead and get started by creating a little... A curvy line and it's going to go up and touch that dot so you can use a ruler if you um, don't feel comfortable with hand drawing and uh, we're going to do the same thing on the other side go ahead and start and make a curvy line and go up and touch that little dot from there we're going to create a lot of lines following that uh, the outline so we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to draw something um, going up towards the top and we're going to be making it a little bit taller than the other line and do the same keep going up one straight line in the middle um, it's going to be like the tallest one and then another two lines or so taller than the left lines so once we have that kind of um, seashell shape we're going to connect those little lines by creating a little bump and then flattening out okay and we're going to keep doing that so a little bump flatten it out a little bump and flatten it out and keep going like this until you finish connecting all the lines and then we're going to create um, a rectangle shape at the bottom and we're going to pretend that that rectangle is behind this um, seashell so we're going to start out by creating a straight line on the left and a straight line on the right and skipping that little area and then a straight line down on the left and on the right and connect those two lines and this is basic uh, shape of the seashell so we're going to um, try to color it in with different colors, um, making it like a gradient. So I'm going to start out with purple here. And um, for the bottom part, I'm going to go ahead and um, fill in the purple. And then I'm going to go up and do like um, pink and maybe yellow or something like that. So uh, get some paint and some water. And go ahead and fill in that bottom space. At any time, if you need a little bit more uh, time, you can pause the video and um, you can, you know, continue. Then you can um, take your time. So I'm going to be filling in all the purple area here. And I'm creating lighter purple at the top, so using more water and darker purple at the bottom. And then I'm going to dip into pink and go ahead and do sort of like a pink line. I had a lot of water here, so I'm going to go ahead and um, get more paint and start uh, drawing, start coloring with pink here. So to blend in the purple and uh, pink, I'm going to go over 
with either brush or even you know your fingers you can do that um, create like a gradient effect and um, get more paint as needed uh, so I'm actually using the paint straight from the palette I'm not mixing it with anything um, if you like a different color you can do that as well it's really up to you so this looks pretty good uh, purple and pink and so for the top I'm gonna go with a uh, really bright yellow and I'm gonna start with the top most area and try to blend it in a little bit with pink but it's gonna be a lot harder to blend um, because uh, yellow and pink are sort of um, much different from purple and pink so but we'll try our best and try to blend it in and so fresh paint for the top areas and I'm using the um, same brush to blend in um, and once I blended it I wouldn't go back to the top area because it's going to um, not keep it fresh yellow anymore so um, so this looks pretty good it does have a, a slight gradient effect and for the um, for the rectangle I'm gonna start out with some red or maybe even blue I wanted to create a, a very dark purple so I have here um, some blue and I'm gonna go ahead and try that and maybe even a darker blue would be better I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and add some red to it and I'm gonna go over it with the same purple I was using So this looks very dark um, and the shell actually pops out from that rectangle area um, and just so go ahead and fill it in and um, try to stay within those lines and um, you can use the tip of the brush to stay within the lines and I think that sort of complete our drawing and be sure to put your initials and um, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.